Oh, who's in here? This is Miss Lionel. She's not an American Breast. And this is Miss Red. She is a Rhode Island Red. Red, Red, I need to get under. I, I need to get under you, girl. I need to get under. You got an egg under. What you got under you? Can I have that? You got one right there. Can I have it? Girl, let me have that. Thanks, Red. That was going to make a little baby chicken. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to preface this video by uh, just give you a little background on what's going on. Uh, to, this is March 2024, and we are starting our breast chicken breeding program. And this program started back in uh, March and April of 2023 when we first got our set of um, hatching eggs and so that's where this video starts and then it'll carry through up until just uh, uh, about a week and a half ago when I set my first egg so I hope you enjoy it. Well hey everybody welcome to the homestead here at Two Turtles Homestead. Uh, today is a very exciting day. I got my hatching eggs from AZ Chickens and just want to give a shout out to them. They've been wonderful to work with. I'll leave a link down below to their website and Facebook so that if you're looking to get some hatching eggs or you want to start your own flock of American breast chickens, they are, uh, in my opinion, the place to go um, for that. So this is my first experience with hatching eggs and uh, ordering them. It, it was a, it was a pleasant, uh, a pleasant process though. So. Okay, so this is the box. Uh, just first glance, they are packaged very well. Um, so we will open them up and let's find out together how they traveled from uh, Texas. So I got uh, a dozen white and then a dozen of assorted colors. So I'm hoping that looks like there's some W's on here and then some BBS um, so I'm hoping I'm thinking that the BBS is gonna be the assorted no there's just some B so maybe those are black so I guess BBS might be black blue assorted awesome well, let's just see so they're packed in there pretty tight so I've gotten five out so far and uh, so I'm taking my shears here and just kind of cutting the foam away. Try not to disturb the eggs as little as possible. Um, so I'm going to be taking them out and, and sitting them on here and I believe I'm going to let them rest. I've got to let them rest and recover for 24 hours. They're really cold so um, let that come up to room temperature. And I'm very excited that I was able to get them all out of the uh, all out of the packaging without breaking any of them. So. So that is step one for a successful incubation of our uh, breast chicken. So stay tuned. Okay, today's Thursday, March the 16th, and I have just loaded the incubator. The incubator actually only holds 22 eggs. We had uh, got 25 eggs, so there's three in there that, are, that we'll have to turn um, manually. And I have to get in there and rotate them, but we'll candle them at day 10 and see if there are any that are not viable. And I mean, I'm hoping that all of them are fertile and well to, well to do, but chances are they won't be. So we will see. So stay tuned. The 25 do not seem to be viable. We took these out after 11 days, so there was zero in there. And then it's been another five days, so we're on day, or the four days, so we're on day 
15. As you can see, there's just a, it's just a yolk in there. But I would say seven, seven out of 25. So if we get the other 18 to hatch, I think that's a, that'll be a pretty good hatch rate. Okay, very exciting. Today is day 18. We're going into lockdown and I'm gonna remove the lid candle them one more time and then remove the turn plate and then open up the um, the bee chamber and put water in that open up the the lid all the way so that the humidity will reach 70 percent I'm still not a hundred percent sure what I'm looking at but there's dark spots in there so um, this should just pull right out. And just like that. All right, it is April 5th, and we have got some activity going on. We got some little babies hatching here. We got some pippin going on all around. Very exciting. We got somebody trying to make their debut over here. I hear chirping going on in there. Well, he made it out. We got three now. About to have four because this white one is just about. Oh, sure. There he comes. Oh, he's, he's coming out right now. You see him? Yeah. Here he comes. Look, 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 look. Oh, look. Oh, pig again. Welcome to the world. <laughs> oh my yeah, are, you, are you done? Babies are in their temporary brooder for, we decided we're going to keep them inside for probably at least two weeks uh, till maybe they get a little bit bigger and the temperatures um, stabilize a little bit still um, every other day dropping down pretty cold and since they're so precious we just want to keep a, keep a little eye on them. So, so far we have bought 24 eggs. They shipped us 25. Um, after 10, after 11 days, we determined that 18 were viable, and of the 18, 14 have hatched. They sure are cute, aren't they? They sure are cute. Oh my goodness! You better stay in there. Oh, they are cute. Oh, look at them. Oh, All right, baby chickens moving outside. They are four weeks old today, so they are getting a, a brand new, brand new house. Ready? Come on out, chickens. Y'all ready? Hello, baby. Hello, baby chickens. Oh, look at you. Hello, boys. It's a big wide world out there. <laughs> Weed eater cleaners. You know, these guys don't know how to act because Shirley said, that's my house. Now they're all in here in the corner. He goes in this box and bitches. 
because I'm in here. He's mad. He's pitching a little hissy fit. Are you pitching a baby fit? Are you pitching a little baby fit? <laughs> Everybody else is enjoying the day. But not King. He's mad. He's mad. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, look back at when we first hatched our little baby breasts and how they've grown and turned into a really good flock. And now they're carrying on uh, the next generation and will be the foundation for our breeding program. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to get my incubator out. I have been collecting eggs all week and so I have, I got one more, well, one more egg to get from the white group and then I will have 22 eggs, which is what my incubator holds. So I'll have 11 from the blue black uh, group and 11 from the white group. So I'm going to be hatching over the course of the next uh, several weeks and months, um, three groups of 22, and hopefully we'll see what my hatch rates are um, and all of that. And so I will be uh, raising them. Hopefully we're going to raise about 60 chickens uh, to process for meat, and then some we'll be keeping to move forward in our breeding program as we progress and, and further uh, develop this breed and get the best breeding birds that we can get. When we get to the end of the season, uh, these reach butcher age at about 14 weeks, so we will be butchering um, about 20 chicks, hopefully every three weeks, So, or they'll be, yeah, they'll be three weeks apart, so that way it's not a whole big bunch of birds to process at one time, so, um, but anyway, so come on along, let's, uh, let's get the incubator ready, and we'll get some baby chicks, hopefully in about three weeks. I bought this incubator uh, a couple of years ago. It is a Nutri-Riot 360, so I'm just going to get it out. I'm going to get it all uh, cleaned up and get it sanitized, get some water in there, and uh, make sure I'm going to run it for a few hours and make sure that it's uh, holding the temperature and holding the humidity before I set my, um, set my birds in there. All right, so this uh, incubator has an automatic turner on it, and then this is, this is the turner, so during lockdown you take this part out. Um, and the, then the eggs sit on there. But because this thing, so this is the tray and it's got all these holes in it, um, in order to help prevent, um, I forgot what they call it, spray leg or something. Uh, anyway, it's, it's to help the, so that the chicks don't, so their legs don't spray out and they have trouble developing. So I have this, um, it's like shelf liner or, um, and it's kind of a, I don't know what it's called. It's like a spongy. So uh, I'm just going to cut a piece to fit this. So luckily, all of this stuff comes right out. And I'm going to just put it down here and trim it to fit this. said this just helps uh, it helps the baby chicks um, kind of just get their footing a little bit better when they come out of the out of the incubator and we decided to go with the American breast chickens because we wanted something that's a little more sustainable you know when we first started thinking about homesteading I thought well those corners cross those would be easy um, it's like eight weeks I mean we could do anything for eight weeks but the more I looked into it, the more I decided I did not like the idea of the Cornish Cross chicken. Um, I call them Franken chickens. Because for one, those things, the genetics of those Cornish Cross chickens, I didn't know when we first started looking into homesteading. I didn't know that um, that is a closely guarded genetic secret owned by one company and um, they don't reproduce. I mean, I think they do lay eggs or whatever if you can get them to live long enough to do that, but um, they just are not, I just do not like the idea of that. And so I didn't wanna have to, oh my God, I think that's gonna work. 
I didn't want to have to rely on a hatchery to get my meat, my meat birds. Um, so we did last year, we ordered, uh, not Cornish Cross, we ordered um, from Murray McMurray's. We, and I'm not saying anything bad about Murray McMurray's. I mean, I think they're a great hatchery, but we ordered uh, ginger broilers uh, from them. And they are also a hybrid uh, chicken. I just, you know, for one, I don't like the word hybrid anything. I don't want a hybrid nothing. God made chickens for us to eat and they are perfect in their own way. So there's no, no point in hybridizing them. And I don't want to participate in that. So I would rather have natural chickens at American Breasts is a five, at least a 500 year old breed of chicken that has been, um, genetically bred pure in in france in the breast region of france they they're a protected breed in france and then they were a couple of breeders were allowed to import some or got licensed or authority to to import some into america and that's why they they're called american breasts over here but uh, they've been a fantastic chicken the temperament is great they're sweet they're good um I just I just like them. They're they're nice chickens, and I like them. And the fact that they're dual purpose. And you know, one thing about the Cornish Cross, I don't know if people know or not, but um, that is what is in all of the grocery stores, all everything. But you butcher them. And I heard somebody say this the other day, and I I didn't realize it. But because they're butchered at eight weeks old, a chicken doesn't even develop its flavor profile until ten to twelve weeks old. Um, if and that may not be correct either, but at eight weeks old, there's no flavor profile. That's why those chickens don't have any flavor. And I don't know about you all, but when I grew up, a chicken did not weigh eight or nine pounds. That is just absolutely ridiculous uh, that their chickens have gotten so big like that. So, but if you, that's you, you do you, and I'm okay with that too. So anyway, um, let me get off of here and quit ranting and get back to getting this incubator set up. Hours working that's the that's the candle light you can candle your eggs here but I have a separate candler and press them both together to test the egg turner and as you can see it is turning right, so it's set on that uh, 99.5 degrees that's what I want I want I want it to 21 days. 21 days for chickens. And then that's it. So right now, it is at 80 degrees and at 86% humidity. So um, I'm going to use this little button right here to open and close to adjust for the humidity. So I'm going to put it on about a quarter open. And then here are your water. So uh, days... Uh, 1 through 18, you put water in here to uh, keep the humidity leveled out. And then on lockdown, which is day 18 through 21, or day 19 through 21, you open this up and so you keep them both because you want to up the humidity on that, which helps the baby chicks hatch. So I'm going to let this run and let it kind of equal out a little bit and see. So it's best to... Uh run your incubator for a little while before you put chicks in there to make sure that everything's running right. And I do have a separate thermometer and humidifier. Um, it's up in the refrigerator up there and I can kind of sit it in there and let that run for a few hours. I'll probably let it run until tomorrow and then double check and make sure that the heat, the temperature and the humidity are, um, are correct on it. So before I set the eggs in there. So we will probably see you back here tomorrow when we set eggs. Alright, let's go see if we can gather our last egg for the incubator. Just sneak in there and get one. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Who's in here? Who laid an egg for me? Was it you? Did you lay an egg for me? I'm gonna get one. What about you? Did you lay one? They're a little dirty because we've had so much rain. Hello, everybody. Oh, who's in here? This is Miss Lionel. 
She's not an American Brass. And this is Miss Red. She is a Rhode Island Red. These two are our part of our OG flock. And they are old hens. <laughs> hey, girl. And they not free. <laughs> like anybody messing with her. Red, Red, I need to get under I, I need to get under you, girl. I need to get under you. you. got an egg under What you got under you? Can I have that? Look, you got one right there. Can I have it? Can I? You don't have one. But you got, I need that one, Red. <laughs> girl, let me have that egg. No, let me have it. No, let me have it. Let me have it. Thanks, Red. That one's going to make a little baby chicken. That's going to make a little baby chick. All right, ladies. <laughs> what, do, what do you think, Lenny? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, Shirley. Hey, for the yo folks that are watching, this is Lenny. One. And that's Miss Shirley. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. So they're doing good. They, they are missing their brother and sister, but uh, they're doing pretty good. So hopefully Miss Shirley will be laying some eggs soon, and I'm going to give them over to Sean over there at the Modern Yeoman and let him hatch them. Hey, girls. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, this is my Miss American Breast. She's a pretty girl. She's a sweet girl. So they are sweet, sweet chickens. So, all right, let me go and get the rest of the eggs that I've been gathering. They're over in the kitchen. All right, so I've been, like I said, I've been collecting all week. And I've got them separated over here. So I'm going to take them in the house and let them start getting acclimated to that temperature in the house. And I've started collecting these on the 26th through today. So these are the white, the white ones. As you can see, I've got 10 and this makes 11. So I've got 11 of the white ones. And I got my last uh, blue black one this morning so I have 11 of those too as you can see a couple of the um, the black hens they lay their eggs are a little bit darker so um, so we'll see I'm gonna get them all weighed and uh, logged in and start my record keeping on these and then I will put these in the incubator uh, tomorrow Friday morning everybody it is March the 1st and I'm getting ready to put the eggs in the incubator they the incubator's been running um, all night it's doing pretty good it's at 99.5 degrees and it is saying it's running at 51% but I had my other um, little thermometer in there and it's about 2% per, 2 off so it's actually um, at 49%, which is good. So it needs to be between 48 and 55% for the first 18 days. So um, let's get them in there. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with me while I set these eggs and get us some chickens hatching. And uh, hey, we'll check back with you in, in three weeks and we'll see what we got. If you like our content, subscribe to the channel and follow us along on this journey. And uh, let's get busy. Mm -hmm.